When you bought your I-bonds over the last two years, you probably locked in a 0% fixed rate. If you like the idea of always beating inflation with your emergency fund, then you could consider swapping your old 0% I-bonds for the new I-bonds that have a fixed rate of 1.3%. That's a 16-year high in that fixed rate at 1.3%. I'm gonna share with you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to swap your old low fixed rate I-bonds for the new 1.3% fixed rate I-bonds. I'm Mr. Retirement and I want you to get more interest, pay less in taxes, and avoid making big mistakes in retirement. Interest rates are changing every day and new tax laws are constantly being proposed. So go ahead right now and subscribe to Mr. Retirement so you can get all the latest videos on how to get more interest, pay less in taxes, and avoid making big retirement mistakes. When you're swapping out your old I-bonds for the new I-bonds, really it's two different transactions. It's selling your old I-bonds, it's buying new I-bonds. So all the rules related to selling your I-bonds apply. All the rules related to buying new I-bonds apply. When it comes to selling your old I-bonds, keep in mind especially that in the first five years of owning that I-bond, if you cash that out, you will lose the prior three months of interest as a penalty. Each I-bond you buy has its own six-month renewal date so take a look at when your I-bond renewed and what interest you're getting right now. If your I-bond renewed in October of 2023 because you had bought it previously in an April or October, that October, November, December is when you'll get that lower 3.4% interest rate. It won't be until January of 2024 that you could cash out one of those I-bonds as an example to where it's the low interest rate only that you're losing. There might be some of the interest at 6.5% that you're cashing out. So make sure you plan it out which I-bonds you want to sell to where perhaps you don't want to lose some of that old 6.5% interest. Perhaps one of your I-bonds has a fixed rate that's not 0%. Or perhaps you want to sell an I-bond you happen to have held for over five years. Take a look at all the I-bonds you have, plan it out ahead of time so you can figure out which is the best old I-bond for you to sell so that you could perhaps uh, use that money to buy the new I-bonds. Now with the new I-bonds, there's all the same rules on buying new I-bonds. If you buy a new I-bond, you now have the five-year window where when you cash out in the first five years, you lose a three month uh, penalty of interest. When you're buying a new I-bond, it's a new date. It's a new five year date. It doesn't go back to the old date of when you bought your first I-bond, even if you're using that I-bond to, using that money to buy the new I-bond, it's a brand new date of the five years. It's also a brand new date of the 12 months where you cannot cash out no matter how hard you try uh, in that first 12 months. So when you are selling an old I-bond, if that's what you're doing, that's liquid, it's past the 12 months, and you're buying the new I-bond, that's starting a new 12-month date. So keep in mind all those selling rules, those buying rules, those absolutely apply because you're really just selling and then buying a new I-bond. So if you're interested in swapping your old I-bonds for the new I-bonds, here's the two steps to go and make that happen for you. You would log in to your treasurydirect.gov account. When you log in, you'll be seeing your homepage. And especially if you're someone that needs to cash out your old I-bonds to create the money available for buying the new I-bonds, let's take a look at which I-bonds you wanna sell and what's going on there. So to sell your I-bonds, you would click look at your current holdings, click on your savings bonds, go to where you have your Series I savings bonds, hit submit, and that'll show you your different areas that perhaps if you have different I-bonds you wanna cash out. So again, take a look at which I-bonds are best for you to cash out, decide which one ahead of time, click on it, hit select, 
And that'll take you to the point where you want to uh, redeem that if that's what you're going to do. You click redeem and now is where you get your chance to do a couple different things. One of them is to decide whether you're redeeming a partial amount. Perhaps you want to hold on to some of your IBON or redeeming the entire IBON. And then also you get to decide where you want to send that money. It could be sent right back to the bank where you brought that money in from to begin with. Or you could hold on to it through this place called 0% C of I. You're basically letting the treasury hold on to your money at no interest. And that's uh, perhaps easier. You might like that idea to hold the money at the treasury if that's all you're going to do is rebuy uh, new I bonds. Either way, notice how it's going to take two business days for this to work. So if you have to sell your old I bonds to find the cash to buy the new I bonds, which if you're swapping might be the case, then you'll have to come back a second time to find that cash available and then go and buy the new I bonds. Perhaps you have the cash, and you can take care of it all in one shot. So next step then, once you've decided how much you're cashing out, where you're sending it, you click review. It'll just list everything that's going on, where it's going, how much is taxable, everything there, and you go ahead, hit submit. Now that you've cashed out what you want to cash out from your old I bonds, you go in and buy your new I bonds if you're looking to swap those all out. Again, it's just a selling and buying. You might be familiar with buying. That's how you got the I bonds to begin with. You log into Treasury Direct, you go to your homepage, and you go to Buy Direct, just like you've done before. You click on Series I, you hit Submit. You put your amount that you want to purchase. You know, perhaps it's the 10,000 that's listed as the annual maximum. Uh, perhaps it's a different amount. You select the source of funds, which again might be your bank account, or it might be the 0% C of I. Perhaps you're holding your old I bond proceeds there. So tell Treasury where you're taking the money from. And then you schedule a purchase for that date, whatever date that is, and you hit submit. That's all you do. It's pretty easy, just like it was easy for you when you uh, bought I bonds to begin with. That's how you swap your old I bonds for your new I bonds. Now that you're getting more interest on your I bonds, you can learn about how to get more out of the rest of your retirement. To learn more about safety first retirement planning, click on my next video where I ask Wade Fowl, the author of Safety First Retirement Planning, to show you how to plan for safety and stability in your retirement. I'll see you there.